guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Today we're gonna be messing with the old snow bunny. Oh my god! In the truck, Brandon. I didn't have a tailgate on. You went to Lowe's. Yeah. You know, concrete's cheaper at Home Depot. It's <laughs> five dollars a bag. running great bro just the problem is that it doesn't get any traction So there's kind of no weight on the back end of this damn thing unless he has his gas tank filled all the way up, of course. <laughs> Which is hardly ever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the gas tank ain't, ain't nearly enough weight that this thing needs. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and put the uh, tailgate back on, you know? As simple as that. Put the tailgate back on the truck, that's all. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> With, I don't know, probably about 160 pounds worth of friends inside. You think there's gonna be 200 pounds? If these are 80 pounds a piece, I think it's probably going to come out to be 160 pounds. I don't know. I was watching this video. You said the haste came out to like 200 pounds when he did two really? bags. Yeah. After so, two bags, yeah. two bags makes 200. I don't know because it's like I think it's like about a gallon of water. Like well, the water dissipates, just activates it, but I don't know, man. However much weight that's gonna add, it's gonna add a lot of weight, and hopefully it, it makes a difference, but we are most certainly gonna find out. Where's Braven's tailgate? Hey, you found it. That thing's actually pretty damn light, huh? Yeah, I know, it's stupid light. I wish I had a scale, bro. I can weigh this thing. Up there. There's a back plate where those four bolts are. Dang. It's a pretty long. I see the other guys doing it through their handle. Really? Yeah, I'm like, oh, Alright, so we're gonna be filling Braven's uh, tailgate up with some concrete. Long story short. So first thing we gotta do is go ahead and we're gonna pull this plastic cover off. I guess there's an access panel right here that we can uh, get to the inside. That's gonna be where we fill this song bitch up at, but there is an issue. There are some holes that we don't want the concrete dumping out of, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to plug those long enough for the concrete to uh, cure. I don't know if just taping that is gonna work, dude. What do you think? We might have to like rivet a piece of metal on there to cover them. Just weld it shut. <laughs> oh, there's some on the side. Yeah, we're gonna have to make sure we get all these holes before we go dumping a bunch of wet concrete in or else it's just gonna run out. Oh yeah! That's a perfect little access hole. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's closed off. What's it do, man? <laughs> We're gonna have to like dump it out the sides. Mm, whatever, man. I mean, I think we're gonna make a mess in there either way, so. Yeah. All right, now to seal up the hole somehow. All right, so that's gonna be our step one is to get this thing sealed up so that none of the concrete comes out. With that access panel removed, you can see there's some metal bracing in there that's gonna be in the way, but we could probably just dump the concrete through the sides. The sides are wide open over here, so. Either way, we're gonna make an absolute mess inside of there. So for these screw holes, we're just gonna go ahead and throw some screws in them to block those. Uh, we need to do some figuring on what we're gonna do to cover all this stuff. this thing wiped down so uh i think basically what we're gonna do is just tape the holes our theory is either the tape's gonna hold or it's not you know and if it doesn't i mean what's the worst case scenario if it does leak out it's gonna leak some out and then if it does get on the tailgate it i mean it's gonna wash off after it dries you know what i'm saying but we do need a place to do this at i figured we're gonna do it in the spray booth because that's what that place is for is for making a mess and being able to shut the door <laughs> 
Uh, I was looking at my cart right here and I think this is actually gonna work perfect for the tailgate. Oops. He's got a screw in it. <laughs> it shouldn't. I wouldn't doubt you. <laughs> Take up some gap on the paint side. Tell me that's not perfect. That's perfect, man. Hell freaking yeah. All right, now let's take this to the booth. So we found some big ass gaping holes on the side, but we got those filled in and we got everything taped up for the most part. So now we just gotta mix some damn concrete up and get to pouring it in here. Throw it in the comments down below if you guys think the uh, tape is gonna hold or not. <laughs> I don't know, man. My fingers are crossed. I'm hoping it does. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to connect the dots in here. Take a sawzall and cut from that hole to this hole and try to get rid of that little section of metal in the middle just to kind of make it a little bit easier to get it in there, but we're just about ready, bro. What you mean by that? What? No diddy, bro. No diddy. <laughs> God, come on now. If it was white, you can put X's on That's how I feel like I sound like in my head. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, look, I'm trying to protect my new shirt here, okay, without having to go change it. So keep it out of the comments. Motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> a little chunk falls in there, like, there we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're closing off my space to see. Mm -hmm. Not much pouring. Yeah, it's not really pouring. Might have to make it more watery. Yeah, take a bucket. Oh, there you go. There we go. Get it down in there. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, I'd say add a little bit of water to it. <laughs> get it a little bit more runnier. Yeah, we gotta get this to be a solid, like a solid thing of concrete in there, not just a bunch of rocks. It's gonna jiggle around, shake around, make noise. <laughs> I don't care how many days it takes to dry, it don't matter. No, it'll be dry by tomorrow. Alright, we're uh we're gonna thin this out a little more. We're gonna mix it a little bit more loose, you know what I'm saying? Your concrete lingo, you wanna know nothing about that. Concrete jargon, you know? So much better. Look at that, it just runs right in there, buddy. Give you a little bit of space to get all around. Look at 
What you got there, buddy? The big dogs. The big dogs. Now we can mix the whole bag at one time. Should have just started with that, bro. Damn it! Just <laughs> <laughs> knows this man has an apron on. You have an apron on right now, bro. That's what's protecting my rughead shirt. Rughead. Oh hell yeah. I think we got more rocks in this one. No. The other one was like this dude. Oh. Just washing the rocks away on the top right now. Oh okay. Yeah, this would suck to do a whole like driveway or something like this. Yeah, no, most definitely. Or patio on it the side of the house. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what would really suck? Like having to watch you do this for an entire patio. That would that would suck. You said a watch. Well, speaking of watch, <laughs> won't you mix your concrete, buddy? <laughs> Damn. Your turn. Your turn, you son of a... Could just kind of turn the exhaust fans on here, get rid of all this dust in the air, you know? <laughs> you gotta smoothen out the top, you know? <laughs> Dead ass, bro. Dead ass. <laughs> oh, shit. You gotta let it set a little bit, though, first, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we got her full. <laughs> Dude, that thing is all the way up to here. So, yeah, that's quite a bit of concrete. Unfortunately, we didn't fit it all. Unfortunately. <laughs> Tape off. <laughs> Freaking ready for this or what? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> I hope the table can handle it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap, that is freaking heavy, dude. Alright, so we let this thing dry overnight, and dude, this thing is heavy as boy. <laughs> now we gotta get all this tape off. Uh, the tape worked, man. Hey, the tape I, I'm actually surprised. I was, you know, I was under the impression that this was going to be an absolute disaster. No, and, well. and your tailgate was never going to be the same again. And we're going to be going to the junkyard looking for a new one. I'm probably, still <laughs> that, but, <you> know, <laughs> probably still that for sure. I hope you're going to be able to get these bolts. Oh, you put the bolts in. Yeah. You're a genius. Okay. So I'm not gonna get those over there. Yeah, for some reason I thought that you had uh, taken the bolts out and left them out. I was thinking about that this morning, dude. <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely took. Alright, we gotta get all this damn tape off of here. Hey! Bro, take the one, the tape off the side. Where the holes yeah, are. Yeah, the holes are, yeah, I see that too. Do you see how smooth it is? Yeah. It's just all flush. <laughs> hey, I think yours might came out cleaner than mine. Look at that. Oh yeah, yours came out cleaner than mine. That's oh. what you guys should have Mine done. has a little bit of pockets in it. Was but. put tape up here to con uh, when it started carrying. No, it, it came out. It. Damn, that shit came out flush as fuck. I yeah, know, body filler. We, we should have put some... Uh... Oh dude, I wonder if that's going to be dent proof <laughs> down there. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna save, it's gonna save my fuel cell, like you were Randy. <laughs> it's gonna save you, fuck the fuel cell. Hey, no problem. I'll do that every day. <laughs> you could have ran some over too. 
Yeah, go ahead and lift that song, bitch. Look, stop. Pull the bondo. Oh, yeah, that's all bondo right there. That's all bondo, for sure. We should take it to a body guy and be like, bro, I don't know, like, it's just, I feel like they're bondo. <laughs> oh, I gotta feel it. He's gonna open the jelly. Oh, Jesus. You're gonna take out a knee. Jesus, Or shocks. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is solid. Yeah. All right, no, obviously, uh, we're not going to know for sure unless we go out and do some testing or whatever, but some weight in the back of this thing is most certainly going to help it. And yeah, Braven's going to try to do like a, just a little launch in front of the house. You know how we always do. Nothing crazy. Just see if you can feel a difference. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell that thing is definitely transferring the weight to the back a lot more. It is squatting back there, boy. Yeah, that one was a little aggressive. I'll probably have the, I'll probably have that house over there calling the city. I'm sure they're probably looking out their windows right now. Like, yep, oh, over there running a business. Mm, yep, call the city. Mm, yep. In which, by the way, I noticed that a lot of people were asking in the comments whatever happened with that. Um, I got a bunch of fines in which I ignored and I'm not gonna pay. So that's what happened with that. <laughs> Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell when you took off, bro. You can see the back squatting down. Bro, I swear to God, I launched at 4,000. That was 4,000 RPM, bro. Like, where, that's where my rev limiter is at. Where what? Like normally you normally, would spin? Normally at like 2,000, I would be spinning all the way down the block. Yeah. It probably, it hooks like right past the blazer. Yeah. Which is perfect. You want yeah. to spin a little bit and just grab. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah it, you can tell just by looking at it. That little yeah. pull right there. You can tell. It's a huge difference. It's definitely huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely Bondo right there, buddy. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of Bondo. We should take a hammer and see if you can actually dent this. We should try it. I'm just kidding. A mallet. <laughs> a mallet. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We filled uh, the bed of uh, Braven's truck up with concrete. That's what we're going to do next. Just a whole bed. Just the whole damn thing. It's either going to get traction or it's not. Remember when we filled this thing up with the rocks? Oh. Take me back to that. Try to do a launch like that, bro. Damn. Holy crap. Anyhow, guys, don't forget, uh, you can enter for a chance to win the same exact cam that's inside of the Colorado. All you gotta do is just run to the website, grab yourself a shirt, like the Rughead shirt. You gotta show them the silhouette, bro. <laughs> oh, man, I don't, I don't got the... Uh, <laughs> they got to help me right now. <laughs> No, you gotta do what you did the other day, bro. Pointing oh. forward. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have the hat hair going on. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, grab yourself one of the three t-shirt designs in the website. Link is in the description down below. Um, you have until the 31st, and then that design is completely gone. And uh, the giveaway will be over for the Sloppy Stage 2 cam. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, peace, and I'll see you on the next one. Later there, Rughead. Later there, buddy.